everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today, we're gonna install a couple of wireless driveway alarms just to beef up the security around our cabin. So we use a few different types of security around our home and our cabin. We've got some indoor like window alarms and stuff. You can get those at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Those are fabulous window alarms um, and door alarms, things like that. They work really well. They're super loud. And I wanted to add another layer outside of our cabin. We have cameras at our home, but at our cabin, we don't have a lot, but we want to be aware if someone is coming close to the cabin, especially if we're inside. We want to be able to make sure we have those few seconds to get ready to do whatever we have to do to protect ourselves and our place. So today we're going to install just a couple, they're driveway alarms and these are solar and they are wireless, which is wonderful. So I can set them up around the property and make sure that we've got that added layer of protection. It's going to alert me that something is around or someone so I can prepare for whatever I have to do. So the kit that I purchased is the Chitusi, and this is two driveway alarms with the base that goes inside. And this is something I purchased with my own money. I actually bought it last year and never got around to installing it. And today, I'm finally getting a chance to do that. You know, we wanna make sure that there's that little extra bit of protection. When we are here, we wanna know that no one is coming in, and if they are, we wanna be ready for that. So, um, so we're gonna install these on the outside of our cabin around the perimeter. And I just have two right now. It comes with the two sensors, but you can get uh, four packs. The, you can get one with four sensors that comes with it. Um, you can buy additional ones. I think it works up to eight. So you can have up to eight sensors. So you can put them all over, cross your driveway, um, around your property, whatever it is and i really like the um sensor the little box that goes inside it's small it doesn't have much of a footprint it can take um a cord so you can plug it in but if the electricity goes down it also runs off batteries just a couple of double a's so i really like that about it and i figured this was going to be the best option for us because we don't really have electricity here we have a generator and solar generator that's all we have for electricity here so we try to keep it down to really low energy or if we can get away with it none and i like that the sensors are all solar um solar powered which is great so these need to be in a nice sunny spot so let's put a couple of these out and see how it works so this comes with a little mount screws and a little piece that goes through the ball of the back of the camera you can see there's a little hole in there and it just goes right through to stabilize your camera and then it can still move up and down so we're just gonna put this in there and the put the little screw in one end I'm gonna put the little screw in one end and then I'm gonna hook my I can put my um, camera right on that once I get it mounted. So I'm just gonna put that in there. It fits in one end, the other end is round. So we'll just get this going. And it comes with a little teeny screwdriver even, but I'm gonna make this easier on myself. <laughs> So then we've already got our little end piece in here so we can we just want to line this hole up and stick it right through and then we can use that tiny screwdriver to just hook it into the nut on the other end so it's nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere the only thing is you want to make sure your solar panel is in a nice sunny spot to make sure that it's going to keep charging and work through the night and the day whenever you need it to work.
So this is a nice sunny spot for about three quarters of the day. And I just want to make sure it's going to get enough sun to keep it charged. So it's about five o'clock probably here and the sun is starting to get shaded. So this will be fine because it gets, you know, 10, eight to 10 hours of sun every day right here. So we got those all set up and we just have the base in the house and you can see we're inside the cabin. It comes with a cord. It's a little USB. You can plug it right into your generators or into whatever USB you have, your computer, anything, or you can plug it into a wall socket. I'm not going to use this here because we don't have electricity here. Uh, so this is, I'm going to run it right off the AAA batteries and we're just going to turn this on and it's going to search for the, okay, you can see the light there. It searches to see how many, and it, you can attach up to eight. They're all wireless and someone just walked across it. My husband is outside, so he is just testing to make sure. And it tells you right here, number one, so you know where they're coming from which direction are they in. If you've got eight of these and you know where they all are, you can easily figure out which direction they're coming from right away. So you can hear it and you know that someone is approaching and you're able to take those few extra seconds to prepare yourself for whatever you have to do. I think home security is really, really important. Having lights outside, having, you know, alarms on the doors and windows, and he's having fun out there. <laughs> and, um, and he just hit the second one. <laughs> so, and you can see, it just keeps flashing until you reset it. So you know what's going, going to happen. So right there, they're getting closer to the front door. And I'm just going to hold this down and you can turn it off. I know that's my husband. I asked him to do that. <laughs> so you can just turn that off. If you've got kids running around and stuff during the day, you're not concerned with it at nighttime or any time that you're not out there being able to see what's coming towards you. This is absolutely wonderful. I'm so pleased with this. Uh, we checked it out at our house for a while just to see how it worked, how everything um, would work together how far away this is you're supposed to be able to have these sensors about a half a mile up to a half a mile away from this base and they will still work with no wires there's no Wi-Fi here or anything like that it's just a wireless signal that goes to this box and um, so that is really cool I know a lot of people feel intimidated by these kind of projects and things like that. They think that they can't do it, but they really are a lot more simple than you think. Just a couple of screws. It comes with all the tools that you need. I use the drill just to make my life a little bit easier, and I didn't want to fight with that tiny screwdriver. But and you could just use that screwdriver, though. It will work. If you can run a screwdriver, you can hook this up, which is wonderful. And that is it for today. I'll put a link if you're interested down below. Um, again, this is something I purchased with my own money. Um, nobody sent this to me. I picked this up myself for my own security. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.